Hello everybody, welcome to the first round matchup of Rick Reckless versus Frick Pay. Um and I've got no idea who's receiving here. Is it yeah. Rick? They've both got the same fucking logo. <laughs> okay, it's Frickapy has won the toss and received, probably. I can't imagine Rick would have chosen a kick. Um, seeing as it's all about who gets the damage in, isn't it? Do you um, put Chorce on the line? That's a good point. I don't think I would. I think I think it's okay for Rick to because there's only one claw for Frickapé. He has a uh, claw pom and that's it. Frick of his team is, is a lot worse than Rick's, to be honest. Frickapé has a wizard and a bribe. And uh, maybe he got an extra reroll. Or maybe they got that off kickoff. I don't know what happened on the kickoff. Yeah. He got the brilliant coaching off the kickoff. So, um. So, yeah, Rick's team is way better. Like, he's got so much more claw. His, his choice is so much better. Um. frickapé has got a frenzy bow, which is a bit shit, I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but at least he's got break tackle, whereas, uh, Rick's second ball does not even have break tackle. That means he can dodge out and frenzy trap himself. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, he does have a good bull though, the blodge guard break tackle, so he's, Frick has got one good bull. Um, of course, Rick took movement, um, which is terrible, instead of guard, so Rick does not have a guard, blodge guard break tackle um, bull, but never mind. So yeah, bull, so Rick's bulls are a bit shit, kind of. Mangled, he, mangled bulls. Mangled bulls, yeah, but he's got a lovely, he's got a lovely claw pommer here, hasn't he, with horns as well, look at that. That's he's pretty got horns. Easy. Great, great oh. model. Hold on, Jim. Is he going to foul this? He's got a dirty player and he's got a bribe, so yes, he's definitely going to foul him. He's 100% going to bring in the big foul here. Kazim. So... Why has he put... Okay. I'm, I'm surprised he's put the stand firm floor one on the line instead of just the guard one. Yep, that's weird, isn't it? But Rick moves in mysterious ways. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed goal, not working for Rick. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> His favourite skill. His favourite skill. So yeah. That is a huge KO. So Dimmy's here. PC's in the house in the house as well. He's being silent, but he's here. Hello, PC. Good evening. I'm lurking. Glorious. And Shawnee was here before the recording start started, so he's he's he'll be lurking as well. So you may hear you may hear a wild Shawnee or PC contribute at some point. <laughs> I'm here to needle Dimmy at any point when you're quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shawnee. Your your support has literally Me and carried. Shawnee largely see ourselves in the same role, which is here to assess Dimmy. <laughs> and, uh, judge him for everything he says. I just ask questions because you you guys are all professionals. I'm I'm a noob, but I ask questions that chat may ask. So I'm here to sort of guide. Both of them have chaos dwarves. Do <laughs> yes, but I'm, I'm just interested in the setups, and I'm interested in why the stand firm guy was on the line rather than the the one without stand firm. Uh, because, remember, it's only 53% to get pals. And if you can prevent diagonal pushing, so that you are limiting them to only hitting with the ones that have access to the three on the line of scrimmage using stand firm. Okay. Then imagine if you get a couple of sets of pushes. And as he's not that fearful of the claw, and as the bribe means there is going to be some dirty player use coming in anyway, and this has exposed the dirty player to getting hit back. But he didn't. He didn't so there are some... Back. No, mm. but I mean, it, it, it's there as an option. He's got at least the option it's now of, uh, under some threat, and we'll have to dodge off. Yeah, he's got the option of it just a claw pom. Like Rick has just given up a claw pom on his claw pommer, which he is has. inexcusably yeah. terrible. <laughs> well, as you've said before. <laughs> okay, Jim, Rick, Rick denied it. Mysterious ways. I mean, he's a very good coach at times, but sometimes he also does some interesting things that Frickaby's really often work not out. Frickaby isn't taking it, look. He hasn't. He, he blocked, hasn't. He blocked still... the square. He could have put the guard in there. He could have just put the guard in there and then claw pommed his claw pommer. I think that's mad not doing that. Is he going for the bull, maybe? 
He could do. He could blitz the ball and then chain chain the claw palmer into a further hit into a massive gang foul. Are we t we're talking about the yeah. crap ball, aren't we? Yeah, he could blitz the crap yeah. ball and yeah, then ch chain him. I don't like any of this turn so no, far. I don't. No, it's hard though because he's he's gonna he's, he's guarded, isn't he? And he's got another player yeah. there, but he's yep. he's gone for the chain. I think on the ball. I think, that's I think what he he's is. Doing. I think so he's what? putting all resources into fouling this bull off. Oh, oh or fouling the claw palm. He could, he could foul the claw palm, couldn't he? This is the thing. He could, yep. he could, he could chain him into hitting the claw palm. Because if he claw palmed the claw palm, he wouldn't be able to foul the claw palm. Whereas now he could chain the bull, then knock over the claw palm, then foul the claw yep, palm. Yeah, and then foul the claw palm. Something, something, claw palm. Yeah, claw palm, claw palm, claw palm. No, this is very much <laughs> a positional... This is a positional second-degree <clears throat> positional blitz. I love the thinking behind it. Oh, so no. there we are. He pushes the claw. No, he's pushing it away. I don't mind that. I hate it. I thought Why? he was chaining him in for the foul. Yeah. Yeah, if you chain him down, then your bull hits him with frenzy and then knocks him into a, like, a fucking three assist, fa four assist foul. Yeah. Dirty player foul. Imagine that was not pro and that was daunting. Clearing that right dirty time. player out of the place you don't want it anyway into the backfield where it can do yeah. some use. That was all beautiful until he made made a bad choice. Yes, in in my opinion. I agree. <laughs> no, it, it, it was just a bad choice, Jim. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. That was a definitely better play, the way we called it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could argue that if, if he hadn't have done any of that, he could have just blitzed his club on there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. Do, do one or the other. Yeah, either set up the massive gang foul on on the claw pommer or claw pom the claw pommer. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, he's put himself under a lot of threat. Hasn't created a great deal of threat. And although he's moved to the other side of the pitch, which is good, he's he's got a nice clear lane, which Rick now has to worry about. He's protected I, his yeah, claw pommer as well. I didn't That's like anything there really. Yeah. I like that his claw pommer is somewhat protected. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Isn't it? His claw pommer is protected for now. <laughs> I don't know. I think you can stick that hobgoblin in and uh, it's the strength four guy. You can, yeah, you can. Yeah. You can indeed, yeah. But for now he's protected. <laughs> and here he goes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he, he hasn't been blitzed yet. <laughs> yeah. He's standing up. Yeah, for now it's he's protected. <laughs> nope, not anymore. <laughs> oh, he killed him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. He could have fouled. Oh, he, he deserved that for that terrible did. turn, unfortunately. <laughs> he did. He could have fouled that club bomber off the field. All entirely his own fault. Yeah. Everything he did in the prior turn was terrible. <laughs> I mean, literally everything from the. Oh god, and that player's gone. <laughs> literally Forever. everything. Yeah, I mean everything. The, the whole plan, the way he constructed it, the turn order, the pieces he left under threat, what he was trying to achieve, and what he ended up achieving. All of that was bad. Other than that, though, you know. Yeah. He even wasted three nice dice. Greeks too are absolutely oh, mental, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Yes, they are quite They're just crazy good. Yeah. The bulls are not, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, one of them's all right. He's got yeah, mangled bulls. <laughs> mangled bulls. What's he got, Dimmy? Mangled bulls. <laughs> He's got one big bull, one <laughs> tiny bull. Oh, your accent's amazing yeah. for bulls. You'd love to see him with a great set of bulls on him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This looks horrible. It does look horrible for Frickipi now, yeah. He's pretty yeah. much blown it with that, that turn. That turn could have yep. won him the game. That turn could have yep. literally won him that the game. That one poor, poor turn. Yep. And now it probably could have lost him. They like it could have won Frickipi the game, but it might have lost Frickipi the game, mightn't it? Oh, I think I think it, it absolutely has. I think that strength four piece being off was the major Lynch been in his defence. I mean, there's still chances, of course, but I think it's a huge swing in favour of Rick. Yeah. It was already a dominant favourite. Yeah. yeah. Now we're really down to the Wiz changing something. Trish and Fireball. Why mm -hmm. is Rick's uh, horns guy so far away? 
Well, I think you could have left that at why is Rick's horns guy? <laughs> but there isn't a good answer, Dimmy. Because he needs G if why is the blitz. Oh no, he can blitz that, sure. Yeah, close after this dull game of Blood Bowl, yeah. Yeah, we were going to do it before Alp, but Frickopy um, got the times wrong, so they started. Um, so they started. He's Spanish, isn't he? Frickopy. He's buggered. Yeah. <laughs> He's fucked. He's up shit creek without a paddle, is what he is. <laughs> Um, he's got Wiz. He's still got two bulls. And his bulls are moderately alright, apart from one having frenzy. And he's got no Apo. Yeah, it's a, it details, details. <laughs> he's got lots of re-rolls. Yeah. And he's allegedly and... got the coaching advantage. Allegedly? Yeah, well, he didn't, he didn't so far. <laughs> he's so far he spooned it, but you know. Well, yeah, I mean, this is a nightmare for anyone, though. I don't care how oh, good it's, you are. It's an incredibly tough position. It is. He has frenzy trapped himself. No, he hasn't. Oh, he had a, had a hit into shit. But it was the amusing bit where he had a genius idea that was right there, and both me and Jimmy saw it, and it looked lovely. And he did it just wrongly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was worth the risk for what I thought he was trying to achieve. Yeah. But it just completely wasn't for what he was trying to achieve. Yeah, exactly. Which was yeah. a terrible thing to be trying to achieve. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, in my but, opinion. You know. <laughs> I don't like the follow there. No. Okay, he's got guards, so he gets to hit him. Okay. Okay, that, that's not so bad then, is it? Okay, yeah, all right. I mean... Are we just blitzing the frenzy ball? I'd rather leave. I'd rather leave him the frenzy ball, seeing as it's it's basically shit as it gets frenzy trapped. <laughs> I mean, I think this is an example of knowing that of having a play style that's worked with this team, where you play offensive and aggressive, and you wait for the odd push and the odd you know one in nine, where you can just take over the fight and destroy them. And you're trying to do that to a team that's better at it. Yeah. And I think you needed to adjust what your anticipated play style was here. Yes. L it like the old more. like the old Mike Flores article, who is the beatdown, isn't it? If you if yeah. you're if you're a magic person. <laughs> magic I thought Mike voice. Flowers was the geezer who did the cover of the Oasis song. That was Wonderful. Mike Flowers Pops. This is Mike Flores. <laughs> oh right, okay. <laughs> Whoa! Well, who is the elf and who is the orc is a question you should ask in every matchup. And in this yeah. one, I think Frikipe is the elf and didn't realise it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Going south. It is. At least he's going to score. <clears throat> He is the article, there you go. Look, I'll link the article. If, you, if you're not into magic, you probably haven't seen this, but if you're into magic, you've, you'll have seen this. And well, the radio station? No. <laughs> you dick. No, man. <laughs> you mean the gathering? Yes, Magic the uh, Gathering. It's a, it's a great article, and uh, it's, it's relevant to Blood Bowl. You know, you've just got to understand how it applies to Blood Bowl. And that's... Uh, it's a pretty nice ball carrier hobo, isn't it? And it's the same kind of thing. You know, it's, it's, it is thoroughly applicable to Blood Bowl, really. Old Mickey Flowers from a Magic Radio Station. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the one, Shawnee, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting way too much promotion here. Other radio stations <laughs> are available. <laughs> oh, Le Double Skulls. Le Double uh, Skulls. Uh, a number of those. Oh He's boy, now, now this could more, be a good turn. This could be a <clears> good <throat> turn now, couldn't it, for a frick -pee? Well, this is it. He he now has his chance to try and... Oh, I mean, it's still tough. He yeah, can bang everyone a down. of a position. Yeah, he can bang everyone down, though. Can... I'd pull back and I'd try and blitz the claw mighty in the middle. No, the, if you're going to get a touchdown, now is the turn you go. You reckon? Yeah, now is the turn you've got some advantage, some ability to gain movement. I don't hate not scoring and relying on Might the wizard. Might need to like... start with a one die, but well, stopping them with a wizard is a lot easier than having to turn them over. Yeah, I understand. 
but I, I just want to remove a claw guy. <clears throat> I mean, if you can, fr the problem is the bludge ball carrying hobgoblin on the other side. But a strength four hobgoblin can potato reasonably well, strong. Yeah, and now we blitz him. Um, that oh, no, he can't get terrible. <laughs> yeah, slip, slip the guard in, blitz the claw, right? Yeah. Slip the guard in. Yep. No. Yeah. The no, I don't in. hate that. That's all about prioritising the score. Now you blitz off. Yeah, he's no, slipped, he slipped the guard in, hasn't he? Yeah, but he didn't yeah. slip it where I thought he was going to slip it. So I think he's, he's no, he did, in the he did where I would have done. But then I would have blitzed off here to have got two die on the ball. Well, I, think I was he's just going to blitz. He's going to block the ball carrier with a wrestler and then blitz the ball with the ball carrier, isn't he? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's a ball blitz. That's, that's a bit. Which I don't think is a good idea. Yeah, it's a bit I mean, the blood hobgoblin is now on tackle, which is good, but you need to get this bull down. Hmm. Oh, and having to use the wrestle on it, for example, now ruins the whole plan. Yeah. It's gonna hit Except he's back. going through with it. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate okay. it. He, yeah, they're both tagged. They're both yeah, tagged yeah. on tackle. He's strength four. No, no, no. Surely you push the hobgoblin round the corner. Yeah. Well, he's going to go oh, and stand yeah. behind him, isn't he? Pushed your guy further away, and although the bull is one step further away, I suppose, no, you need to stay exactly there or the bull just dodges out. Oh, dear. The bull, the exactly bull doesn't dodge out easily, bull, does it? The bull was a five dodge instead of hmm. a four. I mean, like, yeah. if you're Rick, do you even give a... Like, do you even care about the bull at this point? Or? Well, the point is that the... Uh, the Hobgoblin can three plus to give an assist, and then the bull, bull can four plus for a two die. And that's not a terrible yeah. position. Yeah, he should have stayed where he was, but then maybe he was thinking about something Particularly else. Particularly as his first half, and you could throw a reroll into it. Yeah, yeah, I like I like staying where he was, because then... You know, three, three plus four plus two die is not bad. Uh, no, staying where he was doesn't matter there, does it? It makes the bull a five plus. No. He could have gone here for the bull to be a five plus. Not oh, because the rest. No, I was seeing the rest of the guys stood up, but yeah, no, he'd have to have dropped. Oh, back. Oh, oh, no, oh, you're yeah. right. Oh, good Dead night. Ball. Good night, Frickity. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Rick just mindlessly Rick blitzes with claw pom. Flip me, <laughs> mindless claw pom blitz. <laughs> that, guy, that guy's got jump up as well, so he he can literally like kill everyone this turn. <laughs> See, I'm still. I'm, I mean, I'm making freaking Pepe's problem, aren't I? Which is I'm trying to actually win a Blood Bowl game, whereas Rick is trying to eliminate the opposing team. I, I think, yep. like, I don't blame him. I don't think it's that bad. At, like, he's doing... He's no, doing it's, doing, it's doing a good job at it. Go on, jump up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I've seen Frick Pepe play, he's been getting absolutely murdered. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know he had like that twenty we go. one and one like orc team. I saw him play Mr. Page. I think that's it. I think that's all she wrote. Oh, it's too loud. I wondered why you were all so loud. I had the thing up too loud. This is a. Uh, oh, this is this much could, better. This could be Rick's season. He's got the team for it, hasn't he? He has he? Got team I mean, it's it's yeah. I mean, it's like a Singolo team, but a little more sophisticated. This is much better than Singolo. It's very team. brutal, and it does one thing, but it also does it with claw on top of all the mighty blow. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's this is a team that can win Chalice. Rick is a coach who could win Chalice, and he's bracket. I, be I believe his bracket wasn't that bad either. I think the worst bracket's like four and two. This is one, isn't it? This is like the first page. Oh, the bracket. Do it with mangled bull against the Spaniard. He's question. only got one bad ball. <laughs> and even then, it has some upsides, but yes, it's not brilliant. <laughs> now, is he just going to stand about and say, come on, I'm strengthful? I mean, Rick's showed no inclination to play the games thus far, so he might as well just leave him out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, strength four blodge piece, it's going to be very hard. Although, again, he's left that ball just a four plus, isn't he? Yeah. He might he might make the blitz just because he's got blocks with his claw pommers. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you are going to be there stalling, I mean, I don't like that square because you can be pushed into the end zone. 
Yep. And if you are knocked over, the scattering ball can be bad. I just think it's the wrong space. And now Frick be showing what's bad about a bribe, isn't it? Because he's got this bribe. Woo, but can he, is it fucking doing anything? Is it fucked? Because he's been hammered already. And now... Against this much claw, I mean... Yeah. I mean, I understand what he was trying to do, which was get on top of it, but he he then, that turn he completely cocked up. He didn't leave himself a good fouling target. Didn't free his fowler, which, yeah. you know, our plan also did. It, it just all, he didn't follow through with what he was trying to do, but I similarly wouldn't have been trying to necessarily do it that way. I mean, look at the position he's, Rick's left him here. It's a it's a four plus for two die, which he's not taking. <laughs> Jesus, wet. <laughs> he can blitz with claw. <laughs> yes, I know. I, I understand, Jimmy. He can blitz with claw. Um, yeah, I didn't see the claw count. It's claw like there. you know, I I can have bacon every day now. I'm I'm 48. I can afford to have bacon every morning. I don't. And just because you've got claw doesn't I, oh, I'm lo I'm, I'm, I've lost you haven't I yeah yeah I don't know what you're arguing against bacon which is just a losing prospect it is it's the I, I heard <laughs> you've realised what you've, you realised why you were wrong halfway through yeah, didn't I you did. <laughs> you I, were just like fuck what have I done I with my before, life I why am I not bacon having every bacon day? every morning this is this argument falls apart <laughs> what the fuck am I doing <laughs> I've taken some very bad life decisions. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick is just banging him out, isn't he? Yeah. It's like Rick's looked in the fridge, saw there's no bacon, it, we have nothing for breakfast. And PC's gone, no, look, there's some, there's some tofu there. And <laughs> if Rick looks in the fridge, as we all know, all he sees there is the heads of his victims. That's true. <laughs> that is Jimmy and I are of one mind there. Yeah, undoubtedly true. He's why? Why is Frikipe not a, even vaguely attempting to play Blood Bowl here? I know Rick is, but I, I don't think he has a team left. Uh, yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to play Blood Bowl when you got three uh, players left. I, I, yeah. I think, he, I think <laughs> he's full. Didn't even get to play Blood Bowl mode at the moment. <laughs> He's literally got three players stood up. <laughs> three players he can activate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, he's going for one. He's going for the, no, gets the one in nine. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Um, that happened. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot more of this to come. I don't know, mate. There's a wizard and there's an edgy fort. Like, if he can steal it and score and... Well, I'm which clutching. which of his six players do you see doing that? Doing? <laughs> I'm clutching at Shaw's. I'm clutching at Shaw's, guys. And I see six. You know, Rick's about to have a turn hitting those, and has got a lot of claw. So it's not oh, going to be. Did he fail all three KOs? He did fail all he three did. KOs. <laughs> yep. Oh my god! They all just went. Nah. nah. <laughs> I'm not fucking back onto that field. Yeah. Nah. Sprain. Nah, you're all right, boss. <laughs> yeah. I've had to think about it. Nah, 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 nah. I'm standing here. Yeah, I've got a bit of a sore throat. It's not quite cold yet, but I think it will be one. <laughs> Gonna just rest a bit today. I've got a bit of a hurty toe. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, I might get busy on that day. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> Can't get back onto the so, field. I have not had bacon for breakfast. You need to Rips, pay now. Um, Rick's team for next round is completely undamaged, isn't it? Um, so far. So far, yeah. <laughs> couple yeah, of I mean, bribes. A couple of bribes. Fikipe does still have the uh, the claw piece. And a blitz. He's going to claw pom the claw pommer. Is he, though? He's no. not, though, is he? He's going to no. do something else. <laughs> no, he's not, is he? No. He's going to hit the or... claw. Uh... He can. He just needs to put a single hobgob there, assisting. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's got to put the big boy up there. Yeah, he? he's got to put the big boy up there. Yeah. Yeah. Near a horns boy. Near a horny boy. So he's probably not going to. He's just going to blitz with his with his ball. But boy. no, he's he's chickening out. Or is Water he? Boy's is he? Blitz. He's going for the ball. Yeah, of course. He's he is. unbelievable, isn't it, PC? Well. <laughs> 
it's not what I would do here, and I'm. <laughs> is he just gonna one D blitz? Is he just gonna one D blitz him? Let's go, champ. He is. Go on. Go on. It would be lovely to see that piece die to a, one, a ridiculous one die blitz. Meanwhile, if Frikipe uses the wizard and goes two nil here, I'm doing something improbable. Brilliant. This is what brilliant. <laughs> Dead. Oh, he's oh, oh. him! Oh. Full on injury, of course it is! <laughs> Only a badly hurt Rick can't, can't app off it, because there's still a claw. Ah, uh, oh, it's a touchback. Uh, it's a touchback. Oh, it lands a ball, and the rookie ball gets a touchdown. Glorious, yeah, lovely for Rick. Beautiful for Rick. There it goes. That's GG. Yeah, he could have just got 2D, couldn't he? Yeah, that's game. I'm busy on to do 2D. 1D is so much easier. It would have yeah, been more exciting if uh, it wasn't a touchback. If he'd got 2D, Jimmy, one of them would have been wasted. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And, the yeah, and, been and, and he wouldn't have rolled the armor roll or the yeah. injury roll. Yeah, good so, point. Like, that's Why? the problem with three dice is, is you're stealing the, the six from your uh, armor roll. <laughs> <laughs> So, always two dice, lads. Don't ever three dice. You just you, you can't get a three dice, you're a one dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do, yeah. 100%. You actually did that in the game, didn't you? I did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, did you make a, why did you make a one dice? Was like, I couldn't make a three dice. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that he was strength four. <laughs> It was a strength four pestigore, so I didn't realise. And then I couldn't get three dice, so I just blitzed it and realised. For one, yeah. I got, a power. I got a full instant power because the game doesn't punish you for stuff like that, does it? So. No, not on the individual, it doesn't. We got away with it, so. It was. Who was to say if it was wrong or not? But... <laughs> oh, dear. Oof. I know he's getting a 2D on the car. Yep. Why is that pro? Why is that pro? I'm not I like Dauntless rather than pro. Uh, yeah, but he's got jump up, hasn't he? So it like combos with jump up a bit. Oh yeah, I guess. Followed it after his mate just got 1D powered into oblivion. Yeah. You leave the ball otherwise. If you don't follow. You leave what? He can at least base the ball if you don't mm. follow. One, two. I mean, he still can. He's just got a focus dodge for. Yeah, he can't blitz it though, can he? No, but he could base, get guarded, and then he could get a one D from that free, that free chaff. What after a dodge or a GF? Uh, the, the one 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 chaff is just completely free. Yeah, but it would have to dodge around the hobgoblin. Or no. like Just double GFI. He's completely free. Oh yeah. 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 Rick has managed to, to completely not protect the ball whatsoever. <laughs> Why is yep. he Oh Oh he's God. failed on the bolt. It was a terrible bolt wait. decision as well. Wait till yeah. the second half when you got more players. That was eight kinds of terrible. You need to wait for the second half and try and win this two one. Oh God. So has he got a babe? He hasn't even got a babe. Oh no, he's base. He's trying to base him. Jesus fucking Christ! All based. Game over. I like that is that is just terrible, isn't it? Like basing well, him here is pointless. He's three dicing you away. I mean, when he's got a reroll, still, I would be trying something less likely, but with better outcomes if not. Yeah. Like there was still the four plus dodge to go for it. Two go for its one die there. Wee, but you can just I, I did exactly why on. did you follow that? You know? The thing, I, I thing is, the thing is, PC. Do you call that? Thing is, PC, your way didn't get the one dice of claw bomber and Kazim. He's done two one dice nope. on claw bombers and cast them both times. I yes, I accept that I would not have been one dicing claw bombers <laughs> with my claw bomber and removing them, but. That, that just isn't the way my brain thinks. <laughs> I, I can only apologise, Jimmy. I've been wrong. Yep. As, as long as you know what you've done. <laughs> I do. I, I'm guilty. <laughs> oh, dear me.
Yeah. And if only he hadn't spunked the wizard away, he, like, with those two yeah. removals, he's unlikely to take that much more damage for us the rest of the game, right? There's only a claw mighty now. If he'd only kept his wizard, he's yeah, got, what, six players? Yeah, there's he a chance to get players. on top in the second half. Yeah, he I mean, could Rick's have got a bench, but it's a bench of dross. And he's already, yeah, he's removed the two claws as well, so so. Yeah. And it's is a bench like... even Frikipe's remaining team could possibly bang out. This yeah. is quite a disappointing game of Blood Bowl, if I'm honest. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I no offence to like Rick or anything, but it's just it's being a a bit less well coached than we'd hoped. Oh, it's just been easy, isn't it? It's just been removed. And... Yeah, yeah, but even then, Rick like, is it me or is like is the injury dice, like, he way doing. hotter than it normally is? Because like <laughs> even with Claw and Mighty Blow, I don't think it's normally this. Potent. No, I mean he got he got a bit lucky at the start. To be fair, with the claw palms, but I mean he he is getting to claw palm. You know he got the claw palm a lot, didn't he? Um, he's got two claw palms. He was getting jump up blocks, and he yeah, was getting extra blocks. Being left and allowed those blocks as well. Yeah. yeah so really, which is the slightly unforgivable thing. I mean, if there's four claw against you, you can't stop them getting hit at least once a turn. Yeah. You, you sort of try and resist giving them the other three. Yeah, a, a tip, tip there. Yeah, uh, like you know, make it so the positional blitz isn't with a claw palm and stuff like that, isn't it? And, and I wonder if Rick, like, I know it's going to sound like to blitz with the claw when they perhaps shouldn't have done. I know it's going to sound completely mental when you you're going to call me an idiot, but like, I don't hate like kicking because, like, if you put hobos on the line, like at least when. When you're on defense, like you have more of an option to counter attack with claw. So um, they have, they have to base you first, and then you get to hit back. Or like, do you know what I mean? Like you kind I, of. As any kind of removal focused team, I hate kicking. No, I know, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But if you just start cobos on the line, and then. But if I am receiving, I traditionally try and build with two junky chaos dwarves with just guard. Yeah, and I guess for and a key players, four and, he's, ones. and I put he's, those two and one hog goblin on the line, so I slightly mix it up. But I don't put all three CD on the line very often. I usually risk one, just completely worthless hog goblin. And if it dies, it dies. And if it doesn't, I dodge it out. And this is just an example of like one short team being way better than the other team, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, and getting, I mean, yeah, good dice, but not outrageous dice. This is the um, difference between like a Crucifer team that he gets rid of and a Crucifer team that he keeps, isn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Exactly. He's he just like, all right, I'm, I'm 30. And, and I'm, I'm, two. I'm wrong. The way Rick's right. played it is probably the right way to do it, which is to prioritize the removals and to win on attrition over, I mean, the course of he did it over the course of a half, let mm -hmm. alone over the course of the game. Okay, so he's been talking about all the positional play, and it's probably not really what was uh, needed tonight. It wouldn't have been as decisive and easy a victory. No. I say it's a victory, I mean, it, it's not yet, but it will be. Yes. Oh, God, especially now. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he's yeah. a babe instead of a vibe. Oh, definitely one. needed better uh, KO dice. Yeah. Yes, he is. He is for I mean, babes are uh, you know, counterindicated for dwarves, and even for chaos dwarves, because you've got so many players with thick skull. It's still not an ideal. Yeah, uh, inducement. But yeah. even then, a second apoth might have been more used than the bribe. But I mean, I'm, I'm not going to blame him for that. I thought his plan of, you know, fouling the other guy's claws off the field. Uh, had I mean, just, just some just chance, but based on result. Uh, Result-based analysis. Like a babe would have got all of these players back then, <laughs> 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 so it must have been right, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah well, for cost like, of bribe, you I get two. Like. Don't you? That's why I don't like the bribes because they're good if it goes well, but if it goes badly, yeah. they just they yeah. do nothing. Well, they just won, isn't it? Just In won. the game earlier today, Singolo took three bribes, which was perhaps one too many. Uh, yeah. But he also rented a dirty player lineman. And it did just mean he could foul with total impunity. Even bad shot fouls were still just... Yeah, like no assist fouls. Yeah, a slightly less chance of chipping a piece. And he took um, a chef, what a legend. But crucially, Singolo wasn't the else in that match. Cool. Yes. Yes, there is that. That's the thing. Where's that expression come from? 
What? What? Like Me? who's the elf and who's not? Well, yeah. I've never heard that. PC just no, literally just said it like. A few no, I know he said ago. it, but like it's, it's he obviously didn't make it up, did he? Yes. Well, I yeah, did. because I referenced who is the beatdown, and then in Magic, one is the beatdown, one is the control. So then PC said one's the elf and one's the orc. But he Which did also say that he hates bacon as well. Yeah, he it's did, yeah. expression I've used for years. You know, who's the elf and who's the orc in this matchup? Well, there you go. He's used it for years. But it's, no, it's... Maybe, because I do absorb all sorts of things. You know, it I is the myself. same same kind of idea, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not new. It may just be expressed in Blood Bowl terms. Yeah, okay. But I don't... And I do try and cite references. I don't particularly recall hearing anyone else use it before. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bash and dash. But even then, bash and dash is different. It's still who's the beatdown, isn't it? So really, who's the beatdown yeah. is just better. Well, better it, than who's the beatdown. Dio calls it the dog, isn't it? He's like, you're the underdog, so who's the dog in the matchup? It's still not strictly all, true. Exactly it's still, it's still more about who's the beatdown. Who is the beatdown is definitely the bigger thing. So, what, you mean the beatdown is like, who's, who's the guy that's just going to get his ass kicked, basically? And who's the guy who's doing the kick, ass kicking? Oh right, so Rick's the beatdown. Yeah, the ass kicker oh, okay. is the beatdown. Uh, okay. I mean, it's not really because it's not really applicable because it's magic. So, <laughs> but you can work it out like who is the who is the who is the more likely a bash team? It's they're more actually the control team. Wow! So, so Rick it's... feels so in control here that he's uh, he's going for bull pickups because he wants to skill that bull. Oh, yeah. really? just thinks he's under no threat, and I kind of agree. So, it's yeah. over, isn't it? This game was over on yeah. turn three. Basically, who's the beatdown? It's, it's weird, right? Because in Magic, you've got beatdown decks and you've got control decks. And control decks win by, like, card advantage and stuff and removing people and, like, the game going really long. And then yeah. the control team wins. Beatdown team... Be beatdown decks are, like, just brainless... Brainless chaos. <laughs> like, like, you know, mechanics. like, rushing them with loads of shitty goblins and stuff. But if the game goes long, then the control player will stabilise and win. So they like they always say that the control player has inevitability of like you know if if the game goes long they'll win. So really it's kind of the other way around in Blood Bowl in that like the control team is the is the one with more killing potential because if the game goes long they will win. Whereas the elves are like the kind of the beatdown because the elves are the team that are having to like you know make things happen on a clock and if they don't yep. make things happen they'll lose. Yeah, they will run out of elves. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way of looking at it. <laughs> there are, I mean, there... Hello, that's, Daniel, that's, yeah. that's there like nice and simple dimmy terminology. Yeah? Like, thanks for that, Jimmy. <clears throat> You're welcome. <laughs> like, normally it gets all a bit complicated and a bit like... Good, mate. I'm not a fan of exclusivity in language. You know, we should make yeah. sure when we're using Blood Bowl terms, because there are people watching that don't use these terms every day. That we do just occasionally cover what we mean by, you know, a potato <laughs> and a daca and... Yeah. Hello, Dio. I'd even linked it. Look, there you go. I'd even linked the article. Hello, Dio. Let alone Kequity. Congratulations <laughs> on your uh, chalice win, Dio. <laughs> Inevitable. <laughs> and commiserations, Shawnee, who's here. I thought I did think it was hilarious oh, when Kick Equity died, though. <laughs> I was I was watching that like uh, on silent and stuff, so. <laughs> it um, was too perfect when Kick Equity died. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. I, I did like, like, sorry, Shawnee, but I did laugh to myself about that. Like, oh my God, Rick! Fuck you! <laughs> he's, he's full on. He's full on doing the elf pass and the score on the right elf. See, that ball makes its level. <laughs> oh, disgusting! That it's is. Disgusting. I mean, this is why we need a moo sound effect in every version of Blood Bowl. <laughs> that is such blatant farming. Oh. <laughs> Disgusting. <Yeah>. Styling and profiling. <laughs> He's a definite murderer, isn't he? Confirmed serial killer with that move. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. If there was any I doubt think... before this match, it's gone I after think he that. Probably, I think he probably rivals Shipman. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Yeah, no, to be fair, Rick does that with, like, Rookie Lizards when it's nil-nil. <laughs> oh, yeah, the uh, Soros Gate. I, I vanity yeah. passed when I need to, but there's there's a time and a place. I mean, I, I didn't hate it there. He's in such control yeah, in this game. Yeah, yeah, no, here it is. And that whole skilling makes it so much better. 
even on a normal skill with break tackle, that bull is ten times more useful. Yeah. For the next round, so it, it's. I think every single one of us would have done it, but that doesn't stop us thinking of it as disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. That was fair. But yeah, Sora scared. Oh man, there was a day where I watched. I watched Rick play Blood Bowl all day. And he had like four or five games with saw like lizard men, and each one he drew or lost, <laughs> and he would have won or draw. I think he probably drew all four. I think he drew four in a row that he would have won, but for dicking about trying to score an Asaurus, you know. <laughs> and if he'd won all four of those games, he would have had a four and yeah. team with loads of MVPs. Like you know, the four MVPs would have probably got more SVPs than the ones he wasted dicking about on them. <laughs> yeah, but uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm a great believer. I mean, there's a time and a place, and it, it, sometimes it needs doing, but so often it really doesn't. Yeah. yeah right. in this just, situation, yeah, stop, it's totally fair. stop dicking about now and just get the game won. Because yeah. his positional play isn't all it could be at the moment for the limited threat he faces. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy to take your eye off the ball, isn't it, in this kind of situation? Yeah, it is. There's a club on there. I don't hate dodging the dirty player for the foul here. No. Remove, please. <laughs> he made You've got it. a nice table cage. There's absolutely no problem doing this. Nice upskirt. And it's a gym foul. Classic. Classic gym pal. Right, I'm going to make a cup of tea before Claw starts. So <laughs> I'm trying to retain interest in this, and I'm fast losing it. Dimmy, yeah, say something funny that I can laugh at. Um, the other day, I uh, told my wife I was going to make a car made out of spaghetti. She found it hilarious when I drove past her. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic dad joke. <laughs> Uh, As, your dad's not appreciated them, yeah. <laughs> uh, As your dad's not appreciating them yet. Yeah. As your dad's not appreciating them yet. Your lad. What's that, mate? Does your son have enjoy your sense of humour yet? Yeah? Uh, no, he's six, man. He, like, he's just, go away, daddy. Go away, daddy. Or, like, he just talks to me about Minecraft and I have no idea what he's on about. Uh. And, uh, yeah, he's getting back into it for Kipe there. Mm, no, nah, this is this is uh, brutal, isn't it? This is yeah. horrific. Like, I mean, he still has to be vaguely careful, but yeah, it's it's. I mean, dumb. like, if I'm through keep eight, uh, I I'm just like full salt mode, and I'm just trying to kill something just for the next round. <laughs> and uh, he's got all the has, isn't he? He's done all right, but he's just nothing but he's on still this. Got, he's still got the vampire hobgob, and there's just a. If only he had the wizard. Like I can't believe that. Yeah, wizard, he that completely wizard. spunked that wizard. Because yeah, the problem was even if, even if the fireball, even if the lightning had worked, I don't think it, it even stopped do anything. TP. Yeah. I don't think it even stopped the touchdown unless it was a stun or better. And on AV9, that's not. Sorry, on a thick skull bull, that's not hugely likely. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. No, I think it was a emotional response to a tough situation. I believe so. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, congratulations, Rick. Like, it's going to be great to see him in the next rounds. And, uh, yeah, and I mean, with a completely fine team. So, whatever it's rolling up against next, best be worried because there's not a mark on him so far. Yeah. Everything's been badly hurt. I need to actually quickly check the bracket. So, Rick plays UV Sack or Kill Bill Waltz. Oh my god, right, yeah. So, Rick plays either Amazons or Underworld. Um, so, Rick's into round three. Probably. I'd imagine so without it being horrific. They were absolutely it's very hard today. to see either of those races, no matter what so they bring on top of this team. Not impossible, because then, you know, the Bulls are not super strong. But. So, yeah, so he's looking at Kill Bill or UV Sack. I, I imagine it would be UV Sack, but you never know. And then. It's... Oh, oh, Kill Bill's on the Underworld, is he? Yeah, yeah. And then it's. Uh, 
Super Bass. I think, I believe Super Bass and Jugman are actually playing right now. Um, yes, I'd heard that rumor. Oh, look, he was trying the 3 plus, 3 plus 1 die there. And then it's Andre or Mr. Page. Oh, uh, Dog to the Dog uh, is, yeah, Dog to the Dog is push. the underworld. Which is Kill Bill, yes. Yeah. So he's based the ball, but um, you've got oh, to imagine GG. that gets blitzed off fairly simply. Why am I tuning well, out? Maybe Should... not. He's in a, this is I've seen worse positions than this. Yeah, this this game is like it's hard to stay. It's just not a game, is it? It's just one guy getting it, absolutely battered. And uh... it was. Now with that double skulls, there's no real space for this to go wrong. One in nine here, There's let alone no way. 36. There's no way Rick can lose from here, there surely. There we are, sorted. Sorted for ease and whiz. Now we're done. When's your game? I saw you scheduling your game. Tomorrow. Tomorrow uh, evening. What time? Oh, it's half eight, isn't it? Yeah, half eight. Yeah. Who are you playing? Uh, someone called Fight. Oh, uh, okay. Artemis oh, thinks he's alright. Belgian. Belgian bun. Uh, um, it's it's going to be quite tricky. It's no gimme. He's what, got a decent race is he? team. He's Kislev. And he's got a agility for strength for wrestle Saka. And oh, so several... you got the good Kislev. There's one really bad Kislev team. And there's one several right. agility for guards. And he's small enough that he'll get a whiz on top. Oh, okay. So, you know, the problem is is that you've got to be obviously loose to cope with the Wiz, but tight to cope with a strength for Saka with guard support. Jim Powell? Wow. Look at this, wow. imagine if imagine if he hadn't spunked away the wizard, he could have uh, his edge floor yeah. could have dodged away, blitzed, ran, ran away well, a I mean, little bit down the field. Even when a things looked throwing. really bleak, as, uh, as as you pointed out, you know, that was most of the claw threat was now off the pitch. And actually this turn, if this half of anything, the attrition has swung slightly in his favour, so Yeah. And that's after rolling one out of seven on KO rolls. Yeah. <laughs> KOs yeah. have been huge. Those couple of turns of awful play have been huge. <laughs> and throwing the wizard away so early has been huge. Yeah. So I mean he can blame the dice and he has had some tough dice. But most of the fault is his own. <laughs> Thank you, C Shark. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and God always happens after a fall. <laughs> I think I think the main lesson to learn from this game for like a noob like myself is how important that turn two or turn three was to the end result it of the whole so game. It was so terrible. Yeah, and like it puts that's... so many things at risk. Now, I mean, you can sometimes get away with it. If that turn Rick had just had lots of push dice, yeah, it would all have looked fine. But it, it was a huge risk. Yeah. yeah. So I think, like, for for someone like myself who's actually trying to learn something, like, um, I'd say that like the the message Fuck is off. that you can mess up a game really badly on turn three, especially in a matchup can. like this with a higher TV and stuff. Sure, I mean, it, you know, Rick could have, it, we could have been saying how Rick messed it up on turn one as well, if um, Frick appeared, claw bombed his claw pommer and cast him, and or cast if Frick it, yeah, appeared, yeah, made, yeah. The, made the foul, you know, the, the I mean, chain foul Rick's, out. Rick's shapes in those first few turns were not great. He did leave one whole third of the field completely unguarded. Yeah. Um, and was so prioritising the attrition that he left a load of space. I mean, even then, you know, Frickipe did get the, the score in. Yeah. Um, and it did leave for Kipe some, you know, really interesting options to hit things, which we spotted, but he turned them down. Turned a good position into a terrible position and then got removed. Yeah, dog to the dog. Yeah. That summed it up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... And he was unlucky, you know, he obviously was unlucky for it to have panned out the way it did, but still, he wasn't trying anything good. So, you've got to say, he was shitting wrong. And he deserved it. <laughs> well, yeah, you do. <laughs>
I mean, I hope for Kipe if he does watch this back, and I know there are multiple VODs of this, there are at least three people casting this. Yeah. Um, you know, he may feel this is a bit harsh, but um, yeah. he's, he's a better player than he showed in a couple of those turns. Yeah. And I think if I mean, he will like, the opening like... position or the ending position of those turns, he'll go, yeah, no, that that's whatever happened, that's not, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, generally people who are who are good recognise that, don't they? So he'll, he's, I mean, he is good, so he shouldn't. Have, he'll, he'll, he'll know he shouldn't have done that for sure, and you know he should understand that it's just a stream, isn't it? So like, you know, he's trying to be a bit entertaining and a bit over absolutely. Um, but thank oh. you very much, dude. You're a dud for for six hundred glorious bits. Thank you very very much. It doesn't mean I don't say things I don't mean. I just you're not you're not silver coating it, are you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, J5, yeah. <laughs> the orc lady made me feel funny in my private parts. Good. <laughs> I might focus more on the art, to be honest. Try to get good at art. Draw some sexy orcs. <laughs> No. Right, so his only hope here is to get all the players back in a riot, isn't it? No, nah. even then it's pretty... It's I think, horrific. I think his main hope is Rick disconnecting, so I think the yeah. player has to use all three minutes, use the extra it's 15 the, the, seconds. The police turning up and raiding Rick. Yeah, uh, I'm exactly, actually quite yeah. surprised how many players Rick lost after he was so far in the lead as well. Yeah, a lot from fouling, didn't he? He did a lot of like kind yes. of stupid fouls. Because he took a couple of one D powers as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean the one D powers, you know, the, the, with the wizard still in hand, it, the tide yeah, could have been still have possibly been turned, but Almost I mean, still likely not. But it could have yeah. been. Could have been. Yeah, he's, he's he's got to, he's got to run this two, two minutes twenty two down now because the only way he's winning is by losing connection. So run down the time, <laughs> yeah. Jimmy. Fantastic strats. Yeah, it's true. It's true. The only drop way... a <laughs> drop a good game in the chat, obviously. Oh yeah. yeah. Although he should have done that turns ago, really. <laughs> yeah, he should have done that. Like, right, I tell you before. what, though, this, this season, like the the way the bracket is, this looks really good for Rick. Like really good for Rick. Yeah, Rick's got a pretty nice draw, I think. Yeah, it's true. And like. He's, I mean, Andre's in there. I don't know. I can't remember Andre's team. Right, so we've got an AG4 Humans. delivery system and at least three hobgoblins to head said downfield on the riot. So we set up for the riot, don't we? And to yes. split the hobgoblins across the field and with the AG4 as delivery boy. Yeah, there's a chance. Are you telling me there's a chance? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to get a pitch invasion instead, aren't we? Well, I mean, as opposed to trying to set up for the one turn, which just isn't there. No. It's this ducky, exclamation point playoffs, because Chalice was, is the wrong one. The Chalice is to see. For example, you can see how well Dimmy's done in uh, in the playoffs with the Chalice. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that doesn't, that doesn't show up, Dimmy. It shows up, Jim. Isn't there that legendary time he, uh, he re-rolled a pal? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win Chalice, like honestly, boys. Like you're gonna, like I'm gonna be in it. I'm gonna win it first time, and then all of you lot are gonna just be silent by the the amazingness of the champ. It was a blitz. Wouldn't be silent at all. It would, would shower congratulations on you, Demi. Absolutely, Demi. I would be full of praise. And anyone, well, even, even when I win it with uh, Petonia. <laughs> no, Zons. Zons, you'd have to win it with Zons. Oh my god, how hilarious would that be? It <laughs> would be incredible. I actually think the person that believes the least in Dimmy is probably Dimmy. Yeah, probably. Although, no, that's not true. I did hear someone That's definitely not true, PC. Mate. I heard someone talking about the other we... day and they thought yeah. you were utter dog shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't true. Yeah, uh, but, but you're in the bottom third. Just watch any stream, mate. You, you'll see how much belief people have in me. <laughs> uh, no, per not all badly hurts. Great total for eyes. All badly hurts. Yeah. Not even use the app. Oh, hey, Wanger. No. Absolute look at dog. All badly hurts. Disgusting. Usterous, right. Well, that was a thing. 
it resembled a Blood Bowl game for about a turn and a half. Yeah. And then we saw a good plan, which Frikipe turned down, and instead saw an even better plan, which he nearly did by mistake, but didn't. Yep. And from there it fell apart. Yep. Yep, pretty much. Great summation, PC. <laughs> so, yeah, um, congrats to Rick. Uh, commiserations to Frickipit. Thank you very much, Dimmy and Purple Chest and Shawnee a little bit. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> thanks for Pleasure. watching, everyone. Yeah. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.